topic is date to mate. How do you date to mate? Now, people date and they date for different reasons. But if but how do you date if you want to get married? If you want to be in a committed relationship, how do you date to mate? So, on today's topic, that's what I'm going to talk about. Now, the rules. Five rules I came up with if you want a date to mate. Number one, first rule. You have to level up to get a level up. You have to level up to meet a level up. You have to level up to date a level up. See, here's the thing. Most of us want to stay the same and want to get something different. It doesn't work like that. You have to be willing to get better in the areas that you want to get better in, that you need to get better in. If that means that you want to get the need to get better in your finances, mm -hmm. you need to level up in your finances. If that means you need to, you want a person that looks a certain way and you need to physically get yourself together, you know, I know nobody's perfect, but you need to level up to get a level up. One time, let me tell you what happened. One time I was coaching somebody and she says, I want to meet a guy who's buff. I want to meet a guy that has a six pack. I want to meet a guy that has all of these things. I said, okay. Now, and she got mad when I said this. I said, you want to meet that guy, but you have to become that guy to meet that guy. What, 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 that, what does that mean? She said, I said, are you the type of person who exercises and, 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 and has a six pack, and I knew she didn't, but I wasn't trying to be funny. But I was saying was, but are you into that world? You don't have to have a six pack for him to be attracted to you. But if that's something he believes in, that then that's synonymous with his core values. But the thing about it was she, she worked out but believed in eating anything she wanted to. And I said, well, is that going to be mm -hmm. the kind of female that he would choose? And I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm just simply saying to, to meet someone, you have to become that one. Ooh, ooh, that's powerful, kid. To meet that one, you have to become that one. If you want to meet somebody that communicates, you have to become somebody who communicates. If you want to meet somebody that's kind, you have to become someone who's kind. If you want to meet somebody who's got, who's about physical fitness, you have to become someone who's about physical fitness. And so all I'm saying is you have to level up to get a level up. You have to level up to date a level up. Number one. Number two. Oh. Uh, number two. Understand when you're dating that everybody is sending their representative. You have to understand. So what happens to people is they get enamored with people when they meet them. Oh, he's just so sweet. He's just this and he's just that. And I tell them, I said, have you met the real him? Or have you just, are you interacting with the representative? Because the truth is, y'all, every one of us sends our representative. You send your representative because your representative is the one that's going to let you know if you need to send your authentic self. And so what happens is, is this is the, this is the downside, the problem with this, is the person that you meet they get enamored with the representative. And then you say, oh, snap. I don't know if I should let them see the true me, the authentic me, the authentic self me, because they are so enamored with the representative. Mm -hmm. And what I tell people is this. I say, listen, if you have started dating this person, you're going out, you're communicating, you're collecting data. When I said you're collecting data, then it is it, it is important that you show your representative fairly quickly. You need to show them fairly quickly who you truly are. Now, why? Because now if you have an ulterior motive, like many men do, because they just trying to get in the draws and they ain't trying to get a relationship. So they're going to keep playing this thing all the way out. And so what happens is, is they're going to keep the representative out, out, representative out front until they get what it is they desire, okay? Now, what you have to do, though, um, and this is why, you know, when I teach them, I say, listen, first things first, let's, uh, let's focus on 
the mental and emotional connection. And let's not focus so much on the physical connection at first because you will have way more power prior to sex. And I'm not saying, I, I truly believe, I told my daughters, I said, listen, you know what? You know what? I, I would love for you to be a virgin when you got married. That's not likely. As a matter of fact, it's unlikely now, but that's not likely. I mean, because most of us have a past and some people have been with somebody else. However, you don't have to, you don't have to sleep with him right away. You don't. Look, y'all, if you want to find out who a person is, hold the cookies back. Don't give him the booty. Yeah, listen, let's connect. Let's see what he's really like. Because what happens is a man's true colors. It doesn't mean, like I said before, that he doesn't want to. It's, it just means that I'm waiting. You're worth waiting on it. And, but if you don't hold the standard up, if you don't hold the standard up and you don't say, look, it's too soon for that. It's too soon for that. Let's get to know each other. Let's find out what you like, what my core values are, what yours are. And if he bolts prior to that, and he wasn't the one anyway. He just wanted to get with you. Because if you're trying to date to mate, you better hold, keep your legs closed. Keep them closed. And then I was talking to somebody yesterday. She's like, well, I initiated because, you know, I just need it. I said, well, now you're calling me because you ain't got nobody. I said, so what do you need more? You need that, the short-term fix? Or do you need the long-term thing that's going to ultimately fulfill you? Oh, this one's good. Number three, don't act like you married until you get married. Don't act like you married until you get married. <laughs> exactly. Don't rush me. You know what? I'm, a, I'm about to get off this line. And listen, number three, don't act like you married until you get married. So what happens is, is a lot of women, they want to act like they're married. They want to do everything they do. Now, okay, I'm going to give him this. I'm going to give him this cootie cat. I'm going to go pick up his kids. I'm going to be with him with his kids. And I'm going to do all of the things. I'm going to put our money together. I'm going to give him money. Stop. Number one, you're not married until you get married. Playing married doesn't mean that you are married. What you're doing, you're assuming the role so that he can see you in the role. Now get what I just said. You're assuming the role so that he can see you in the role. But men don't operate like that. Now I get it. You want them to see you in the role, but here's what you're doing. You're violating the principle that I taught the other day. And that principle is men don't marry. Men don't commit to you based on what you do for them. Men commit to you based on who you are to them. And so you thinking, if I keep doing stuff, keep doing stuff, keep doing stuff, that he's going to see I'm such a good catch. And then he doesn't see it. And six months later, he's with somebody else. And you and you broke up, beat up, wondering why, but you ain't been listening to Dr. Canyon. And then if you have been listening to Dr. Canyon, you didn't take Dr. Canyon's advice. Okay. I'm not saying this just because I want to. Listen, Dr. Canyon knows what the hell he's talking about because he's smart. I'm just being honest. He is smart. Now, whether you choose to believe it or not, until it's late, too late in the game. Look, I told you. Number four. Number four. Decide if his core values line up with your core values. So in our book, me and my wife, The Canyon Culture, this book right here, pick you up a copy on the grandcanyons.com. Listen, on this book, that on this book right here, I told my, my wife and I realized a lot of people get caught up and you get, listen to what I'm going to say. They get caught up with how they feel. He made me feel great. She made me feel great. You get caught up in how you feel. And what happens is your emotions will betray you. Emotions don't have a good track record and I'm being in business, in relationships, because your, your emotions many times will betray you. And here's what I mean by that. You're enamored. You're all in love, but you haven't, you, you really know that your core values don't line up with his core values. 
You know that his core values are not about saving money and being family, but your core values are about saving money and family oriented things. But because you're in love, but because he make you, you know, make you quiver in your liver, then you saying, I want to be with him. I love him. And what happens is, is when you find out after all of this passionate love dissipates, when it dissipates, you realize now you stop looking past. Now you stop looking past all of the hoo 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 hoo. Now you look past and realize that our core values don't line up. We don't have the same things in common, but it's too late. Now you're in a relationship deep. Now what happens is you're like, wow, I really didn't know him. And a lot of people are in marriages like that. They got married because they loved each other. And y'all, if love was enough, if love was enough, you, we would not have over, over 50% divorce rate. Love is not enough. It is not enough, y'all. And so all I'm saying is this. I'm simply saying, make sure your core values line up. So this is what you do. You get a sheet of paper, a sheet of paper, right down the middle of that sheet of paper. Write your core values on the left. Here are core values. Number one, one of the core values me and my wife have in our book. We talk about the person allows me to be true to who, my, who I am. Because you're with somebody, and I always tell people, if you have to fundamentally mm. change who you mm. are to be with that mm. person, they're not the mm. right one for you. So my core value is someone who allows me to be me, okay? Now, my second core value is someone who wants to resolve conflict quickly. I don't like to argue. I don't like to, especially I ain't arguing with my wife. You know what? We're not arguing. That's my place of sanctity. And so all of those core values are right there. Now, this is what you do. The person you're dating, ask them what their core values are. And what you do is you write now on a sheet of paper, put it down, your core values, their core values. If they don't line up, run. Get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there. You know, because me and my wife wrote this book. We finished it during COVID. Get you a copy of Grand Canyons. Y'all, it's going to save your relationship or save one you're about to have. And what happens is, in the thing, we realize our core values lined up. Now, do we agree on everything? No. No, she get on my nerves sometimes. I get on her nerves a little bit at a time. Not much, but I'm sure I do. So, but we realize our core values because attraction may get them. The only thing that's going to keep them is core values. Traction may get them, core values keep them. If your core values don't line up, don't marry them. Don't get in a committed relationship. Serious. And the last one, number five. Number five, how do you date to make? Heal your past. Heal your past. You know what? You can't establish a future until you're willing to heal the past. If you if you got stuff that's going off, you know you're insecure because people have cheated on you, deal with that first. If you know that you've got some issues because you've been molested, deal with that first. If because because you don't want to be touched, you don't want him to have, you don't want to have sex because somebody violated you and you just look past it and you just don't like sex, sex ain't your thing. Deal with that. Get that dealt with first. Heal the past of, if somebody told you you were ugly, where, where you, you would never amount to that, deal with that. Because then when your husband compliments you, you ain't going to believe him. So if you're not willing to deal with the past trauma that you've had, you're not willing to deal with any of that stuff. If you're, not willing, if you're unwilling to speak up because you couldn't speak up first in early in life, in your, in, in your relationship. You know, Milani said something last night, my partner on the coaching call to our group, she said that when you can't speak up, listen to me carefully. This was so profound that I thought about it after class. She says, when you can't speak up in a relationship, she said, in a relationship, mm -hmm. that's a reaction to emotional trauma that you've had that hasn't been healed. And when I thought about it, I was like, oh my God, think about it. The, the reason you can't pick up, speak up is because there is some emotional trauma you had about speaking up in your life. And that needs to be dealt with. Woo! Woo! Y'all, if you're ready to date the mate, though, let's start. Listen, y'all, 
I'll, as always, we can book a uh, discovery session. The discovery sessions are no longer free. But if you really want to invest in yourself, go to grandcanes.com, book a discovery session with me. And let's talk through your stuff. Let's, let's figure out a plan, a blueprint for you. All right? That's my time today. All right, y'all. Me and my wife about to go hang out. I'm going to get me a new phone because my lease is up. And they were like, come get a new phone. Uh, or we're going to charge you. Or we're going to give you a lump sum for the old one. So my wife and I about to hang out. Go to the post office. Do some other stuff. Get a phone. All right, y'all. I'm out. Until tomorrow. You guys have a great day. And listen, every journey starts with one step. Take yours today. Peace.